Hey guys, Akisha Lockhart here for She's Got a Show by the way of allineedisonemite.com. So I wanted to do something special for you all. I wanted to provide you all with a guide for All Star Week and Weekend. So I recruited some of the best people. I was trying to find the right words because I don't even know if best is the right word, but the best people for the job. So Chicago's influencers and tastemakers will be joining me, some of the finest, to discuss with you all what you need to be doing for All-Star Weekend and give you some tips. And oh, I think one of them is coming up right now. Hey, he, here he is. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up, what's up? Hey, Don, how are you? Good, 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 good. What's the deal? Okay, so I just let everybody know about what we have, what I have going on here. So I got to catch him up to speed too. Okay. So I... It's been since 1988. That was the last All-Star Weekend that was hosted in Chicago. So most valuable nice. player was Michael Jordan, just to kind of put it in context of, of what was up. Mm -hmm. So now, All-Star is coming back to Chicago. And right. what I wanted to do is I just recruited the hottest people in the city to kind Let's of just it. break down what people need to know, the out-of-towners, yeah. the in-towners, all that stuff. So can we ride and talk? Because I know yeah. you got a tight schedule. Oh, yeah. Let's so do I'm just going to, yeah. Okay, Let's cool. So you got your seatbelt on, which yeah, is yeah, most safety important. Safety first. Safety, safety first. first. Don't play them games. We don't. So Don. <laughs> What is, if you can tell us right mm -hmm. now, can you let us know what the Black Ink Crew franchise is going to be doing? Or do you guys have any events or anything well, I know that you're me, putting together? Me, Ryan, and Ford are going to participate at the uh, Olivarama Palace uh, on the, I want to say the 15th, that night. We're going to be there. Uh, so you get, you know, three of the fellas. Okay. Uh, and naturally, Nine Mag going to pop out with us. You know what I mean? So we had a whole Nine Mag team in the building. Going to try to have a good, peaceful night. Um, as far as like festivities, we're gonna try to support everybody that we can. Like really, um, it's kind of dope. Cause honestly, like you said, this is one of the biggest things uh, that's happened for our city in a minute. So we definitely gonna be around supporting a little bit of everybody to try to give out those dope vibes. Man. That's what's up. That is so cool. So have you ever attended an all-star weekend or been to a game before? You know, I never have. Okay. I never have. Okay. I always heard about it, I guess, because I see how crazy it can get. You know, it, it gets real turned. So this will be actually my first participation That's dope. in any all-star like type of weekend event. Like I ain't gonna lie. Okay, so are any of you all participating, any of your castmates participating mm -hmm. in the celebrity basketball game? Do you know anything you know, that you know what? of? I, you know what? Not that I know of. I, you know, I gotta ask Ryan. Ryan might and then he'll mess around surprises. He don't even hoop. <laughs> he don't hoop like that, okay. but Ryan will mess around be there, won't even tell nobody. Okay. And you look up like hey, y'all, y'all know I'm in the game. So, oh you know, wow. Up. We do stuff like that, so I wouldn't be surprised if Ryan is, you know what I'm saying, uh, is a part of that, you know what I mean? But we definitely going to be in the building. We definitely going to be in the Winchester for that joint. All right, that's cool. All right, well, let me, so the next thing that I that I feel like is really, really important, mm -hmm. there are going to be entrepreneurs coming from all over Facts. the U.S. and probably maybe even the world yeah, to I've come here up. for this week, weekend. Mm -hmm. And there's also entrepreneurs here in the city. What piece of advice could you give anybody mm. who's on their grind about their business and looking yeah. at this as a business opportunity yeah, to come here? They're not even into basketball. Mm. What would you suggest that they do? Um, you know, honestly, they need to, uh, from the gate, um, just really uh, understand that you have to come with a business mindset that will separate you from the rest. You know, everybody's going to be here trying to give out this, give out that. But really, it's the context of how you deliver it that's going to change, like, somebody's ear. Like, you know, somebody's going to be like, yo, hit the t-shirt. Can you rock this t-shirt for me? I'm probably going to get a 100 of those that weekend. Okay. But when a person is able to walk up to you with a mature concept, a humble concept, and they can, you know, man, just give me two minutes of your time. I just want to boom, boom, boom. And, it, and you, from the first 30 seconds, you catch a person's attention. That could change the difference between just the t-shirt being rocked or somebody potentially saying, man, I might want to invest in that. Yeah. That sounds dope. You know okay. what I mean? So really beyond just having like your dope gear, your dope, whatever you, whatever you, you get, you know, you're putting out there, um, just really have your, you know, that first 30 seconds. I mean, I think first impressions are everything. Definitely. Um, so have that first impression be so strong that like you want to be able to be remembered. Like, right. that's what it's about. Like, a thousand, hundreds of thousands of celebrities and people are going to be approached this week, that week. And you need to be able to take the first 30 seconds and make sure that they like, yo, okay, 
I don't mind listening. Makes well, sense. You know what I mean? And, and that's really that's that's the best advice I can give you. Uh, okay. Just being, just look at it like an interview. Come in here like you gotta have an interview. Everything okay. is an yeah, interview it's approach. It's business. Everything is an interview approach. Like well, you're going for that big job. Yeah, and that lead that is a perfect lead to the, my next question. So, as a celebrity, mm -hmm. being you and your friends, you have friends that are celebrities. Right. What is your biggest pet peeve as far as either fans or people that want to mm -hmm. do business approaching you? Yeah. What can you say? And just one thing that yeah. you would say: Do not do this yeah. over that during that time frame yeah. when they're around any celebrities yeah. because collectively you all do not like what i mean i would say collectively we do not like this if you see us truly engaged uh whether that be with my family whether that be with my close friends you see me truly truly strongly engaged in a conversation and you try to pull me away like i've had people try to pull me away even like if you see me like doing something with my son oh, and it's like no, do you no. really think what you want to talk about is more important than like what i'm talking yeah. about to my son at this moment like you, you got to understand, we appreciate everyone. We appreciate the support. Um, I think people have tried to snatch me away even when I was, like, in a heated moment with somebody. Oh. Having, like, not like a heated, but, like, a strong debate with, rather than a man. It was somebody, like, management. It was so we, we was going over something. And you can see my face. Like, you see this, this focusness in my eye. Like, you know what I mean? And they still, like, hey, hey, I see you talking, but... And I'm trying not to, now I'm like, do you want to get, you want to get involved in this cuss out that's happening right now? Like, why would you think this is the time? So it's like, just truly pick your moment. Like, if you see me in the bathroom, not a good time. If you see me talking to my family, not a good time. If if I'm walking in, in, in general, yeah, maybe. You know, excuse me, man, I ain't trying to bother you, man. Can I get two seconds? Can I take a picture? Whatever, that's fine. But if you truly see an engagement moment going on, those are not the moments. Like, just understand the respect matter of uh, conversation, uh, respect family. You know, when you see certain things going on, you got to have enough respect to be like, you know what, that ain't a good time. That you know what I mean? Sense. I've had people coming to me at my daughter's birthday parties, my kids' birthday parties, like, y'all don't see this family thing going on. Give me a minute, y'all. Just give okay. me a second. Like, you know what I mean? I have to yeah. tell people, like, when I when I get through with my kids, I got you. That and it's sense. not to be rude. It's like, no. hey, y'all, I got you. Right Very now, this, this his or her moment. Yeah. They need all dead attention right now, so I got you. You know what I mean? That's that's the best. I can, just because you know you don't want a person to be like, man, I remember this. I, somebody did us in the gym the other day. Ryan almost dying, and the dude trying to walk up and talk about the show. I said, man, you don't see my brother almost having an heart attack. Ryan, like, man, if you don't get out my face, I'm over here dying after these reps. You talking about, hey man, that episode was great. Man, don't nudge me. I can't yeah. breathe. Yeah, <laughs> I can't yeah. breathe right now. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, what we're gonna do now? We're gonna switch gears a little bit. Okay. Do a little switching gears because I see, according to our my our ETA, we're almost mm -hmm. at our net at our destination. So mm -hmm. I want to do rapid fire all star questions because okay. again, we got some people coming in from out of town. They need to know some important things like okay. Harold's chicken or Uncle Remus. Harold's. Southside guy, man. Earl's. I'm with you with that. Earl's. Okay. Best pizza joint. Best pizza place uh, in down Chicago. People need to know that, Don. They need to know man. that. I'm still a Giordano's Reggio yes. guy. Man. Yes. 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 Okay. Um, if you come to town, uh -huh. hostels or Airbnb? Oh, uh, Airbnb. Okay. Flying Spirit mm -hmm. or Southwest? Man, get here how you gotta get here. Don't be ashamed to get on spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay. If 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 you have to rent um Spot Hero app or Rideshare, do you Uber or Lyft out of the three? Which one would you think would be the most cost efficient? Hmm. Uber, Lyft, uh -huh. or just rent a car and use the Spot Hero app? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> Me being a Toro investor, go and go on Toro and you can rent a couple of my cars. But, uh... <laughs> He's a businessman. So, you know, but, uh, yeah, I would say, me personally, I would say rent. Because by the time you get through Ubering, the way the traffic is going to be, um, by, by the time you get through with that major traffic time, trying to get through the United Center, all the events, you're going to mess around and spend what you would have spent on the rental anyway. Because you're looking you, at... you saying ride share? You said yeah, rent. I'm saying rent. Right. If it was me, I would rent a car. Right. You say you're going to spend what you would spend on the rental, spend, but you mean on ride share. On ride share. Yeah, that's what you're You're going to end up spending over two, three hundred dollars in that weekend. Anyway, exactly. When you could have just rented a car for a couple of days and you and your group of friends can put that together Very smart. and you'll come out cheaper. Very smart. Um, and y'all got one vehicle and y'all not waiting around because the way you're going to be waiting on Ubers, 
the way you'll be out there confused, especially that United Center gonna be crazy. Oh, that that's day. always the worst. That's that gonna be nuts waiting on the, the Uber to come Ooh, find you. That is, yeah. You're gonna be like, thank you for Ugh. yes, that is terrible. So okay. trust me, Airbnb and a rental. Because even if you say, hey, I'm gonna veer out to some other events, it's way easier for you and your friends to, hey man, let's get in the car now. I do not advise Don, you know drinking and driving. Don, you know this was rapid fire, right? I got you. My bad. I just be having that. <laughs> My bad, G. Because we're almost here. You know I'm okay. about safety, you know. Uh, I know, and I appreciate that. Okay, so, <laughs> so our next question. We're okay. pulling up, right? We're we pulling up. Yeah. We're only pulling up, but mm. we are, we're we're going to continue this because um, he, he's very passionate, and that's the reason why we keep having him back. <laughs> so let's say the powers that be. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this parallel park gang work out okay. while I'm talking and I'm on my weak side. So... <laughs> Pair, um, okay, so the powers that be say mm. you can only, only have one of your castmates. Mm. You can only hang out with one of them for the whole weekend, none of the rest. Tell me which, tell us which castmate <laughs> would you want to hang out for the whole All Star week and weekend, and you can't hang out with nobody what? else, just one. And it could be from any uh. of the cities. Wait, so there's. There's obviously Chicago, there's uh -huh. New York, there's L, there's California, and then right. where else? Is it? No, this is Cali, New okay. York, and Chicago. All three of them. So yeah. you can pick one from any of them. Which one? Okay, uh, y'all aren't gonna give me a shot. I gotta hang out with Ashley the whole weekend. Yes, wifey! <laughs> Good answer! Shout out to wifey! Great answer! I love that answer. That Most was definitely. good. Most That's definitely. smart. Smart move. Smart man. I like it. Oh, yeah. So we have completed our ride he's got things to do i've got things to do but we want it it was so important to us that we make sure that you guys have have what you need as you prepare make sure like he was saying he was trying to say you know be safe be over safe. the week be yeah. safe over the weekend be smart about your decisions mm -hmm. and i definitely don't want you guys to miss out on the other guys because i have a whole roster of, of really dope people that i'm going to have sitting in this same mm -hmm. spot and you're going to want to hear from them. so make sure you subscribe thumbs up like and post comments if you agree with don and any of those rapper right. fire answers because y'all may have a debate they may have a little debate on hey, some of that stuff i ain't tripping man <laughs> i tell you can't go wrong with her okay i agree so <laughs> I, I agree no i agree so for she's got a show and all i need is one mic.com you all know me i'm akisha lockhart but who are you yeah you know your boy bishop don black and crew chicago nine mag maybe see you later